are there any side effects? <laughs> Good question. In fact, out of my conscientiousness and maybe even nervousness, I was looking at neurofeedback for three, maybe four years and still kind of afraid to do this. I didn't want to put people's wire on wires on their heads. It's like, I'm so ingrained not to want to do any harm, which is a good thing. Uh, some things to consider is there are effects that you can get from this, but it's probably better to think of it as like unwanted effects. Side effect is a good explanation for drugs because you may be taking a medication that's trying to help you achieve something over here, but a side effect is something over there that is unwanted. So say like you get dry mouth from taking something over here. This is more like an unwanted effect if we somehow sped you up too much, then that would be an unwanted effect, or we slowed you down too much. So wired or tired, um, those are usually minimal. Like if a person is doing upward training and they are struggling with um, attention and focus, um, and if we accidentally or unintentionally um, did a training which would speed them up, they might have a little bit more anxiety. They might have a little bit more overthinking. And on those occasions, then we just move the minutes. We just, it's actually not that big of a thing because we just, we're, we're so good at getting feedback from you each session, then we just move the minutes. In fact, I've heard it said that, you know, having no effects is probably more of a problem than having unwanted effects because we can, see that something's happened. It's like going to the gym and you did it too late at night, now you're kind of wired. It will wear off in like one to two days, even three days. Uh, but I'm the type of person that if you have something that's really uncomfortable, you call me, say, hey, I don't feel this right. We talk it through and see if it's um, something to do something. We can always do something quicker to kind of stabilize things. But there's also the type of person who needs that boost of attention and focus. And yes, they're doing really well. In fact, they're reorganized the living room. They're running out of things to do because they're so efficient now. We may move some minutes down to more slower brainwave just because, yeah, that was good, but it was just a little bit too much. I've experienced that myself. In fact, I feel blessed that I've experienced probably, you know, side effects are rare or unwanted effects seem rare to me because I just don't. But thankfully, I've experienced both sides and I, I actually appreciate that experience. Why? Because then I kind of know what my client would be going through. Um, of course, you don't want to talk yourself into effects that don't, you know, and it'd be easy to do with this. So we don't really mention them too much, but that's in the paperwork you'll see. Too tired, um, it's usually too relaxed, <laughs> too maybe unmotivated a bit. But here's the deal, when people, I can tell this person is just too wired to begin with, the type of training we're naturally doing is slowing them down a little bit. It's hard to go from that to too much. It, it's not likely. And a person who's really under aroused, meaning they just have a hard time paying attention, it's really hard to move them to the point where it's overboard. The people that might suffer some unwanted effects might be more prone to bipolar or chemical sensitivity, in which case we don't really start them off with linear neurofeedback anyway. We do nonlinear, which is a type of training that rewards stability. And for most people, you can do it, you can enjoy the experience, but you don't really get any effects from it. Why? Because we already, our brains are already stable. But for the unstable person, and we're not talking about their life, although it kind of relates to that, we're talking about the EEG just seems to have brain instability. They may be sensitive to chemicals, prone to headaches. Um, they'll have energy and then they don't have energy. They have energy and then they don't throughout the day, not related to food, um, that's more unstable. And they usually do really well having the experience 
of a stable brain.